A Mumbai Sessions court has rejected pre-arrest bail to a woman who allegedly sent fake police notice to a bank to procure statement of her estranged husband's account. The couple has been involved in a matrimonial dispute since 2012. While the family court had granted maintenance to their son and daughter, the woman did not get any such protection. The woman challenged the order of a family court in the Bombay High Court. Her advocate filed an affidavit in the High Court in February 2020 in which statements of bank accounts of her husband, his parents and their company with a private bank were annexed. The husband inquired about this from his bank and learned that bank statements had been obtained by an assistant police inspector, Api Vilas Sutar attached to the Agripada police station. The husband filed an RTI at the police station to find out about the case and learned that the notice under Section 91 of Criminal Procedure Code CRPC, to the bank was never sent by the police station. The husband then registered a case at Azad Medan police station against the woman, two of her lawyers and the policeman. In the case, the Bombay High Court asked police not to take any coercive steps against the two advocates, Rizvan Merchant and Gayatri Gokhale. Vilas Sutar managed to get pre-arrest bail in the case, however, the court rejected the same for the woman while stating that prima facie appears that the notice was prepared by co-accused Api Sutar. The material shows that the purpose behind preparing forged and fabricated notice was to procure the bank statements for the benefit of the woman alone. The court observed that custodial interrogation, as permissible in law, with the woman will be helpful for the investigating officer to reach to the root of the matter for finding out as to as whose instance, forged and fabricated notice. Having regards to those aspects, nature of allegations and material available against the applicant in investigation papers, the court is of the opinion that this is not a fit case to exercise discretion under Section 438 of CRPC for confirming the interim anticipatory bail granted to the applicant.